Hello, ladies, gents, and drooling blubber beasts. We return to Spelunky. And are you ready? Are you ready to watch me suffer? We are entering Sasha Vol. Sasha Vol is the next level of Insane Lunky. The game becomes stupid. Insane Lunky was insane. Sasha Vol is directly, literally stupid. <laughs> it's so much stuff any everywhere and explosions abound and it's not just that it is just um it becomes completely impossible in the ice case i would i would be okay saying that much like you know completely impossible okay let me let me let me correct myself it's not 100 percent impossible it just becomes uh, a little uh, rng heavy in the ice caves in the ah! In the sense that uh, we're going to be faced with the real possibility that we're just going to explode <laughs> as we enter the ice caves and there's really nothing you can do about it. The upside is that there are so many good things hidden in the walls. It is extremely likely, oopsie, it's extremely likely to get some good items right away and really that's what you need to be able to survive look at the really strange i don't know why i just jumped in there that was really stupid really look at the extremely weird shape of this level there is these wooden blocks spawning everywhere there's the arrow traps just clogging the place there is an enemy on every block seriously messed up level design hey we got some random specs now we should be able to bomb our way to more bombs or you know just get randomly bitten by a bat there's a jetpack over there it, this run is already lost i think that is that much is clear so unlike all the other stuff that we've been doing i'm not going to make it my mission to beat sasha Vol because it is just perhaps too difficult. It's too difficult to get it done. Oh. Oh. And not just too difficult. That's not really the reason not to want to get it done. The reason is too random. And too tedious. It takes forever to get out of the mines. I really want some bombs. There are some bombs. I don't know why I'm even trying with one point of health right now. It'd be quite silly quite silly to be uh, hanging on to this run when well, it's just not gonna work out there we go there's, there's the completely accidental death let's just keep, go back in the moment that you start things explode <laughs> and this is the mines uh, place that is not really known for its random explosions well in Sasha Bowl, so many things explode so many random things constantly blowing up and being triggered the arrow traps are nearly unavoidable blah 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 I'm going to put up on there but I because I have a hunch there's going to be something good in there there was nothing good in there and now I feel bad really the spider hit me huh already at two health it is not going to end well mm -hmm. Do -do -do -do. I really resent this, you know? <laughs> it's very upsetting. Ah, let me just kill myself. I would like to start one of these with an item right away. That would be the way to do it. My goodness, let me just uh, put a rope down here. And at least all the explosions. Mean, oh, that was absolutely retarded. Taking full damage in Sasha Fall. That's so stupid. Take as much as I can. No bombs. It would be nice to start with a seed that actually has some, some good stuff in the random explosions at the beginning. But hey, we made it through 1-1 really quickly. But yeah, the reason why I really don't want to endeavor to beat this mode like I did with Insane Lunky is because it's one, so unpredictable, and two, so tedious. It's extremely tedious. Look at all the crush blocks that spawn over there. That is freaking hilarious. And the one good reason to do this is because it's freaking hilarious. It's there's so much silly stuff going on. Oh, Jesus, a giant spider over there. I really resent you. 
And you as well. Oh boy, look at all those explosions. I guess, you know, since the explosions happen so violently. Okay. And so predictable. There's a good chance of getting some good items to begin with. Ooh, look at that. Bombs there. <laughs> Explosions all the way down. They just don't stop. It's hilarious. It's not that bad. Now that I'm looking at it, that was not okay. It was simply a narrow shaft. It's not a actual big bomb. Big uh, rope. Okay, please stop bouncing. Please stop getting destroyed. Two points of health is really, really almost a deal breaker. We can make it to level two. No, don't bite me. We can make it to the second level. And get that Kapala. This will become way easier to endure. The problem is getting there. Because the moment that you start traversing a level without clearing the top of the level, we can destroy that. This punch is still going. Ah, uh, probably there was an idol, I guess. Destroy that piece of trash. But well, there is a very big possibility that we're not even going to get to the jungle right now. In this entire series of attempts. But, you know, on the other hand, it's something that very few people have done. There's something that I want to do. is beat Spelunky in creative and fun ways. And if that means... Subjecting myself to the Sashevol treatment. Look at that explosion. Continue triggering a whole bunch of bats. The bats really are the major problem, and the, of course, the spiders that come out of nowhere. No, no, there's more creatures here. You can't just go into the unknown, it is impossible. To go into the unknown without triggering a whole bunch of monsters. Destroy that. Destroy that guy. Some bombs over there. Oh boy, a cobra. Can spit. I may uh, use the shotgun right there. My life would become quite a lot easier, maybe. Oh yeah. Okay. This is this is viable. We can get this done. Some extra bombs here, might as well get them into my pocket. Alright. That was pretty good. And the thing is, Kali is pretty likely to spawn. I think it's she's just bound to spawn. But you know what else spawns here? A lot of power kegs. It is very likely also for Kali to explode. With the extra difficulty that that entails. I think we're going to make it down through here. Something to remember is spend a million resources because right now we have 57 ropes <laughs> in 1-2. So something that is never going to be an issue is having enough things. Probably shouldn't have not let that rock bounce into my face. And I am curious to see what the jungle is like. I know what the ice caves are like. I have explored this thing before. With Swashbuckling Sir way, way back. The infancy of the channel. Kablooey! And uh, it quickly became apparent that it was ridiculous, you know? <laughs> it's, the ice caves will explode in your face. This is like the main impediment, in fact, to get through the game. I am genuinely curious, though, to see hell. And there's no real way to see hell without going through the entire of the game before that. You can maybe take the jungle shortcut and then hope to find the black market in those seats. There's a shopkeeper over there. Let's piss him off. Because that's the way we do things. And we want to also get enough fodder for Kali to, to love us. We're going to do that. 
Okay, that did not open the way. Uh, whoopla! The shopkeeper needs death. It is what he needs. For a healthy and balanced diet of death and destruction to his mouth. And I'm trying to find a damsel. That will be one step to go towards the Kapala. There's a live shot keeper somewhere around here. No. Oh, there must be a vault then. Which is great. You want the vault. Put in Kali's embrace and have a hilarious laugh. At the shopkeeper's expense. Okay, let's go all the way to Cali. I'm actually trying. I, I, you know, the more that I am going through these motions right here, the more I feel like, you know what, maybe this is totally doable. Difficult indeed. Oh, really? I got bitten. That really should not have happened. Not be damaged here. Trying to find a damsel. Among all this chaff, that vault man also needs to be murdered. What's the deal with the bullets? They are not going the way I want them to go. They're all uh, spraying downwards for some reason. You guys see any damsel anywhere? It's very possible they got crushed. Very possible they got exploded. But if they got exploded, there will be a corpse somewhere. Let's see, let's go all the way to the very beginning. It's all this nonsense over here. Only 24 uh, bombs. That is annoying. I don't have bombs in the walls. I'll take that picture, Smith. Yeah, I've not gone through here. I really don't want to be killed. Oh boy! <laughs> no one can clear that spider. All right. Uh, I think there is chances of... Oh yeah, of course, we want to throw pods onto Kali's altar. That's how we got the Kapala before. derp a derp a derp Completely forgot. <laughs> that was dumb. That's, what was, that's what's gonna happen right now. There you go. That's uh, Scorpion number one. It's really not... It's even more likely to get Scorpions out of these pods. Insatiable. Regular alien. That one. Gotta kill the alien first, though. Because otherwise, the pot will yield nothing. If you kill an enemy with a pot, the pot will yield absolutely nothing. This is a truth. Uh, what's up there? The spider. What? No, come on. <laughs> that was bullshit. <laughs> All right, another one dash one. Like I said, a single mistake can just end everything. Just bow my way down. One dash one, you just want to get through it. Get through this damn place. Okay. I should have exploded right there. Look at this horrendous band of bats. This terrible group of people that want to destroy me. I want to trigger all the power kicks. I'll probably get crushed if I stand right here. Come on. Huh? Whoa! Oh, we got some things out of that. Oh, there's some specs. I want that. Go away. That's a jetpack. And there's some bombs. Uh, sticky bombs, I do. Got blue. All right, we're set. Shotgun as well. All right. That's a bomb box. I'm going to help myself to it. All right. 100% concentrating on what's happening on screen here, and still, I get hit all the time. <laughs> one health going to one dash two. Pretty damn prohibitive. Look at those uh, beautiful interim walls. Okay. This should be easy enough. Shoot this man. What? Okay. Uh, I cannot, I do, I have no explanation for that. I simply just restart. 
keep on going, everything's fine. I, I honestly feel like I should restart whenever there's no giant super explosion at the beginning. Because that means I need to work that much harder to get through the freaking level. Yeah, that's much better. Ah, uh, don't do it. Oh, it feels like it's doable. The moment you get past the nightmare that is 1 1. And you're able to get some Cali points. You know, you have that small window of being able to sacrifice stuff to her. Put some pots in there for uh, scorpions. Health becomes irrelevant. I don't want to die here. Please don't die. Two points of health still permissible. One point of health deal breaker. <laughs> this is... Slightly uh, challenging. Okay. Blow that up as well. Very helpful. Whee! Definitely not helpful to have this hat on. Okay, give me all this stuff. Whoa, I should not have uh, threw you all that at once. God damn it. Some extra bombs. I am so bad at timing the scorpion defense. I never get it right. The explosions happen. They went all the way to my face. <laughs> Not something I expected. Mm -hmm. Pretty quick descent here. This is pretty nice. Still though, I got to two points of health already. Please let me down there. Let me through. Okay, man, through that one. If we can get that Kapala, man, everything will be okay. Yeah, the, the shotgun pellets, because of the seed, it just... Yeah, they spawn strangely because of the different configuration of the game. I could not tell you what's exactly what's going on there, but there's some definitely some strangeness. To the way these uh, pellets are spawning. Come on, spider. Get the hell out of my face. I hate you. There. Really? <laughs> Need to contend with you? Oh. Why? Why are you doing that? Stop it. Right, another filthy mongrel destroyed. Let's do it. There's Callie right there. I'm gonna start putting pots into her face. Actually, let me go back. Let me destroy that one because it's full of monsters. I hate you. I hate you a lot. There. Use a million ropes to get through this nightmare. Look at all these spiders. Stupid. All right, Callie. There's some sacrificial scorpions. There's some foolish shopkeeper that decided that it was a good idea to mess with Spacos Polanco. Where the hell are all my pots? Doo -doo 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 -doo. Nope. Feels like there's way more pots that spawn aliens than scorpions. Alrighty. Spider, not what I'm looking for. Okay. Ah, this, this. It's so easy not to see stuff on the wall. It's so easy not to see those spiders and the things. All that it takes, man, is having a kapala. All I mean, all that that's success right there. I mean, Sash of all, you really do need it. I could see you having, uh, being able to get through Spl Insane Lunky without that Kapala. Completely impossible in Sash of all without it. So here we are, grabbing pots, putting them in Kali's altar, getting only aliens in return. Starting to get pretty pissed. Those filthy monsters. Stop! Stop giving me aliens! I think the spawn rate 
of the alien is super low, so Sashavol makes it super high, uh, which pushes the scorpion spawn a little further than I really want it to be. Still though, best way to get that Kapala right away. We have only sacrificed the A shopkeeper, that's all there's been. If we can get a damsel and the live scorpion, I believe that's all we need. So that's why I'm trying so damn hard. You're not what I wanted. Don't know what I did with my shotgun. I go find it. Still no uh, specs either. See if we can get something out of this. Really nothing. I need my shotgun back though. It's not a shotgun. There's the shotgun. Please let me out of here. <laughs> this freaking ghost. On top of everything, the ghost makes it that much more complicated. Okay, a whole bunch of monsters being destroyed. All these blocks are in my way. You could say they block my way forward. <laughs> uh, I shouldn't do that. Let me get rid of this ghost. I mean, I, I am at one point of health, so it's really kind of dumb to be uh, holding on so tightly to this particular run. Should maybe just restart, see if I can get to 1-2 right away without suffering damage. But damn it, sunk, in, sunk cost fallacy. We're going to continue on this. Maybe we can make it work. Because there is some non fallacious sunk cost here but because we have spent quite a lot of time clearing out this level making sure oh that's a, that's a, some delicious no break it god damn it why are these freaking scorpions not showing up pissing me off nice drop bombs give me my shotgun back more monsters destroyed. Use the ropes, always use the rope to go down. Kill these damn creatures. I wanted the pot, I got an arrow shaft. Not what I wanted. I don't really care about these ropes, I don't care about anything but the pots. There's quite a few down there. It's taking forever. Five minutes in here. Really, that's your main thing you want to do. You get the Kapala, you're golden. Stop spawning aliens. You got a diamond. Yeah. It's pretty infuriating. Can't believe that was not true yet. So silly. Na, 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 na. But yeah, this is your life in Sasha Vol. Doesn't get any better than this. This is your life. And it's ending one minute at a time. Here, get another pot. Eventually this will pay off. Don't worry about it. It does feel like it's even more infuriating than Insane Lucky because the spawn rate gets pushed so hard for the aliens, you know? So that's infuriating. Oh, there's a jetpack over there. First time I see it. No, get destroyed, please. There's another pot here. Somehow a skeleton spawned that did not come to life. It's crazy. Give me a scorpion. That jetpack will make my life that much easier. On ooh, that is death right there. No, the rock. <laughs> Got this shotgun. There. What a pain in the butt. It's another pot. All the way back up. Let's see if we can get the jetpack on this. Trip. Scorpion. Nope. Thank you. Give me the good stuff. Cover up those spikes. Don't make me nervous. I just want the pot that I just destroyed. Derp! <laughs> there was a bat over here that's not gonna kill by it. You get killed by everything. 
Just making my way easier over there. Getting real of this. Spiders! Oh, and Damsel does not want to spawn. It's annoying. I really need to stop using the shotgun because I'm destroying all the pots in my way. I'm all about that pot. I can't believe none of that was true. That's stupid, man. <laughs> so silly. Hey, another one. Go all the way back up. I am committed. I'm committed to this. I know I have only one point of health. Yeah! Now, if we find a damsel, we get the Kapala. It'll be hilarious to die after after we get the Kapala. That will be absolutely just side-splitting funny. To die after we get a Kapala. So, let's be careful. Okay. Trying to get all the pots, it's really hard to get to them. I should just use a bomb to get in there. Also pretty hard to find more bombs in the walls, this one. Uh, please let me go. <laughs> oh boy. All the way over here. On my way in. <sighs> Sasha Bo. It is the spawn of madness. I will lose my mind before this is over. You die. Give me that pot. Go all the way back. Get another scorpion onto that altar. See if we can make it work. Huh? Not a scorpion. If we also, if we get a damsel, that'll be fantastic, but it's uh, kind of weird. They seem to not spawn a lot of times in the Sasha Bowl, uh, levels. There we go. Oh no! Oh man, I'm in a bad place! It's a scorpion, obviously, we cannot do anything with it. I was, uh, my balls came all the way to my throat right there. That's <laughs> very upsetting. Very upsetting. Let's kill all those disgusting monsters. Then we'll go back in there. See if we can find some more pots. Holy crap. Way too close. Please. Please! There's two more pots over there. We can make this happen. Only 10 minutes in this 1 2. No big deal. I am undaunted. But this entire proposition. Oh! <laughs> oh man. Scorpion! No! Mm -hmm. Sting bombs. Give me some freaking bomb boxes. Can I go through there? This has always been an insane lucky too. This was the most tedious part. God damn it. Mm -mm -mm -mm. There. Give me access to some more areas. We'll shoot through. As much done as possible. In the murdering department without suffering the ultimate demise. I don't see any um, pots here. What's going on? I mean, I have been breaking a lot of them with my shotgun. As you see, I need to be safe. I need to not die to horrible monsters. So I'll rather destroy the pot than get bitten in the face by some random bat. We need to save. Make it all the way back up. Just need. I think two scorpions is what I need. Hey! One more. One more, or the damsel, which doesn't seem to have spawn in this level. In this level. Um, we haven't gone this way. There's a whole bunch of pots here. Get the ghost away. 
I'm going to be game through all these uh, walls. Pretty disappointed in the fact that the bombs don't want to spawn. I mean, obviously, we've got uh, quite a few. But I could have used one more. We really don't want to die to some random spider. All right, we have two pots here. If one of them contains a scorpion, we get a pot. All right, now is the moment of truth in the sense that all I need to do now is harvest some blood. That's all I need. All I need now. That delicious blood matter. Thing is, not a whole lot of enemies left, but there is a rat over there. Where's the shotgun? I left it behind to be able to grab something. We're just take another shotgun. Please rock, don't bounce into my face. That'll be humiliating. Um, with the shotgun, we can harvest the blood of this rat like a lowly vampire trying to do the right thing. That's me. I don't know if I got that in my face. But... Oh yeah, oh yeah. Just one more. Creature floating to my face. One more pellet of blood, and we'll have a Kapala. And after we have a Kapala, yeah, I want to bomb my way down through here. Just get this freaking ghost away from me. It's so infuriating to have to deal with a ghost on top of everything else. I don't want to go into the next level because who knows what's in the next level, you know? Explosions can happen, a rock to my face, I will die before I get that point of health. I worked so hard to get this point of health, I mean this Kapala, so I'm going real tough, real hard. Not being murdered. Yeah, there's, there you go. That's all that I care for. Still going to go down there and get that. Yeah, 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 good stuff. Alright, I think I'm going to call it a day here. Go for the exit. Call the Kapala. All that matters now. Now it's a matter of getting the Ujjara. It's a dark one. And obviously, still not out of the woods. An arrow to the face will kill me. Let's do this. Just go do that. Very, very carefully. Oh! Already four points of health. I am pretty safe now. And just do a lot of murder. Without being terribly concerned. Oh, I died. There's another Kali out there right there. I'm getting vigoration for all the good that it will do. I will get those bombs. It's always helpful. As much explosives as possible many explosives as possible. It's kind of good that we got a spider level because that means way less bats. The bats are my nemesis and freaking insane lunky and beyond. That shovel is kind of crazy. At least, you know, the dark level is barely a <laughs> barely an impediment. It's more bright than anything else. It's a lot of uh, a lot of light all over the place and in fact it's perhaps brighter <laughs> at a regular level. A really good looking, good looking level indeed. A whole bunch of cavemen from the... <laughs> trapped into the, the cobwebs. It's pretty cool. I would like to get those bombs right there. Yeah, we're, we're covering the health department, I think. Now we just need to worry about stun lock. We need to worry about insta-death to spikes. To explosions. Of course we want to. Whoa! Wow, that was really a power kick. A power kick in front of my face. Not a great idea. Not a great idea to mess with that. Oh yeah, give me all that stuff. Man, if this is a successful run, it's going to be an hour and a half run. Anyway, there's still a shopkeeper alive here, I'm pretty sure. We really don't want to be murdered by him. Don't be stupid. Yeah, he's still alive. Wow. Wow. Let me just bomb uh, that entire thing. Zero risk taken. Now we do a little bit of murder. 
with impunity. He's dead, right? He's not dead. What in the hell? See the dick, you filthy monster. All right, that's good. Get out of here. Actually, pretty sure we didn't find the Ojedi. It was nowhere to be found. I didn't go everywhere. The top left corner. I did not explore that, so I really should. Because that is one way I can lose. And damn it, that we worked so hard to get to a point where this is a doable thing. I don't want to to throw it away, pretty much. And it, you know, since we have not seen either chest or key, it is extremely likely it it will spawn in the next level. But it pays to be thorough. Okay, I'm pretty sure now I am quite confident that there is no such thing as the Ujjarai in this level. So let's simply let, let the hell get the hell out of here. Don't get ghost though. Don't get humiliated. All right, another level complete. Really getting through that 1-2 is the hardest. Absolute hardest that we're going to encounter until the ice level, the, the ice caves levels. Now all that we need to concern ourselves with is getting that Ujjarai. Alrighty, another Kali Altar because that's just the way it happens. She is everywhere in Sasha Vol. Sasha Vol, by the way, is the name or, or the sir. I don't know if I doubt it's his real name. It could be. Uh, the name of the creator of Frost Lunky. Frost Lunky. The hardest mode possible. Of course it would be. But he would insert his username in. Here's a snake pit. So we're going to go into it. Seems like the easiest way down. Now hopefully the chest and key will spawn right in here. Going to go with uh, rope. Hey, nice. We got it right here. With rope and shotgun. Traversing every single level of this snake pit. Finding zero difficulties. Nice, we got a really, really easy chest and key. Sometimes in this altered state of Spelunky. It's really hard to find the chest and the key. Careful there, that's going to explode. Oh, actually no, it got pushed out. But yeah, I'm going to stay away from those explosions as humanly possible. Somehow got through the mines in the, our first uh, session over here. Let's not get crushed. Let me just destroy it. Why am I even pushing that? That's so dumb. In fact, I... Need to not neglect finding bombs in the walls. Still pretty important stuff to do. Because uh, he seemed to be using a million of them. This is the way to approach it, really. We were pretty damn generous with the bombs, too, in Insane Lunky. And here it's going to be even more so. Is he dead? There's so much stuff spawning in the walls. But the bombs don't want to show up. Kind of weird, huh? I mean, we're, we're doing okay. I would appreciate some more. It's alright. Let's just leave. Because we made it to the jungle somehow. Amazing stuff. We actually made it to the jungle. That's fantastic. Be careful. Now, thankfully, no arrow traps to be worried about. That makes it that much easier. It's still not trivial. Nice. And we get the black market right away. It's super easy. I think that there is no reason to stick around. Just go through. I want those bombs. I'm going to grab those bombs. Even though it's uh, unadvisable. This man is somehow alive. But he won't last long. He's been tickied to oblivion. I don't know what happened to the bombs. I think I grabbed them. All right, let's just go through. Easiest one, two dash one of my life. Let's go through and find the black market. Get what we need. Let's just throw a few bombs there. Nothing to it. Just 
store was full of bombs. Appreciate that. You no longer have any power over me, you stupid enemy. See, these, these bullets, they are all spawning, do, going downwards. I don't know what the deal there is. That guy's dead. Put a few vampires. Nothing to worry about. I am a fellow blood drinker. But I'm more of the cannibal sort. I really don't appreciate this vampire nest we have found. So, they all need to be eradicated. I am your Val Hel Van Helsing. I am your blade. I am all against vampires. And they all need to be destroyed. Even though I could be counted as one of them. Rebel against my evil nature. Alright. That's done. Pretty easy. Ow. Kaboom. Okay. That unk. Like I said, the jungle... It's really quite easy compared to all the other things that happen here. It happened in uh, Insane Lunky and Shashavol. Sashavol. Damn, there's so many freaking vampires. Alright. Twilight Convention or something. There we go. Murder that. Give me that unk. And now we're going to play it safe. Bomb our way down to the exit. Bombs, though. I want them. I want them bomb box. I am willing to murder, pillage, and rape for it. Probably in that order. Probably exactly in that order. I like them when they're a little cold. Kind of spend more bombs getting these bombs than I'm going to get. Okay, there's the murdering. Ah! Oh wow! Almost death. There's the murdering done. The pillaging has also been done. Now the raping needs to start. No, 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 no. no, no. What, you thought that, that there would be no abuse of corpses? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, cut them up into pieces. I'm going to, to get a piece of ass for later. Excellent. All right, there's some bombs over there. I'm going to grab them. Kind of ended up traversing this entire level. There's really no stopping me, you foolish creatures. The only way you can stop me is by throwing a freaking ghost at my face, which can easily happen if I get stunned. So let's not get too damn arrogant. Simply keep on going now. All right, jungle. It's been fixed. The jungle problem, what is your dealio? Stop, 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 stop. I'm not even going in there. I'm just going to find the exit and get the hell out. Straight down. Love the sticky trap. Destroy all these two piranhas. I hate all creatures, living or dead. So that. Continue going down. Really not a big deal. Of course, we have old Bitey. Ah. <laughs> Did they got my problem? The shopkeeper problem? Man traps are. A threat? How are you still alive? Look at that! <laughs> oh man, it's like... 50% of the blocks have a piranha in them. That's silly. That's just silly. That's funny. <laughs> uh, might as well go down there see what see what's what down there. I would like a nice vantage point though. I want to have a beautiful little alcove from which I can murder all these piranhas. That's great. I would say that's possibly optimal. And to stand here and destroy all the skeletons. I have plenty of health to spare. <laughs> this is so dumb. <laughs> Too bad they're not alive because I will totally break even, you know? Too bad it's uh, there are restless levels. Level I do not. Oh, there's, there's our wonderful old bitey. But if we destroy... I think we destroy this block. Old bitey will come over to what I want her to be. Him? It? Actually, I have a million bombs, so it really... It's 
no reason. Let's see what we can. I, I really don't want to be losing so much health already. Too much health lost. Come closer, please. Come over here, Obidi. I guess the bombs will go to you. It's 40 health on Obidi. That's still crazy. Always weirds me out. Oh, that was a white idol. Do we get the ghost? Or do we? I really don't want to go out down there, though. I mean, there's a lot of little fishies. So we're able to harvest their blood. Is there a point? I really should just leave. Just for just m mucking about in Sasha Vault. You really shouldn't. Should be just taking it easy. One thing I probably will skip will be the mothership, though. I mean, that place is just death. So many! It's so many! Oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh, that's stupid. Okay, we gotta leave. We gotta leave. <laughs> oh, you can do... It's like a, a real school of fish. You can manipulate them around. We still have four, eight pointers of health. We are able to destroy every disgusting fish down there. Oh boy. Yeah, I, in fact, want to go in there. Empty hands. Now, six points of health, five points of health. It's also a whole bunch of freaking. Uh, oh boy, there's the giant super group. We really want to destroy them. Let's get the hell out of uh, the influence of the ghost. Why am I doing this, you might ask? I'm just being a fool. I'm just courting death. That's pretty much what I'm doing, I guess. But I want to destroy every piranha and then kill every little fishy over there. Because I'm in a fish mood. I'm in the mood for some delicious salted cod. With a nice tomato sauce. There. All of them are dead now. Pretty hard to harvest this blood when the water throws them around so much. Really not breaking even at all. Especially with these damn vampires ruining my... cramping my style. Go away, vampire. Get wrecked. Give me all that blood, yeah! So senseless and pointless. Hey! Old Vitey has been uh, shown who's the boss. I'm the boss! I'm the Sash of Old Master. I will not be stopped by some random freaking undead fish. Stupid undead fish. I hate all of you. I harvested enough to go back to 8 points of health. That is fantastic. That is good enough. All right, that was a massive waste of time. I hope that you enjoyed it. And we carry on. Through this fantastic place. Hmm. Of course, we get another level with vampires. <laughs> we got another level with rushing water. Really, why am I doing things like this? Just bomb your way down, you dumb fool. And really, there's no need to harvest that much blood. Unless you can keep yourself alive. That's all you need. But, you know, still sacrifice is coming. Go away. Infuriating vampires. I think I have seen zero damsels since we started this. What's the dealio there? I guess damsels just don't spawn. They get completely crowded out by all the other stuff that happens. Funky, huh? Funky how that happens. It's an angry shopkeeper. Wah! And suddenly, I'm back to one point of health. Alright, well, that was not expected. <laughs> My goodness, this vampire can kill me. 
<laughs> Go away, please. <laughs> Holy crap. Holy crap. Okay, okay. It's all good. It's all good. Kill that ticket trap. Approach the alien. Destroy ticket trap. Approach the alien. Harvest the alien. My blood! No, that's not what I wanted. I want the rock. Give me the blood. Give it to me. Ah! <laughs> oh, suddenly it became harrowing. It was fine. Perfectly fine. <gasps> no! <laughs> You're kidding me. <laughs> Why? Why? This is all a punishment. This is all a punishment for my stupidity in uh, the previous level. Could have easily gone through everything. Could have just bombed my way through this. Not worry about that maniac with his damn shotgun. Oh, that feels so dumb. I just threw the hell run away into the trash. Freaking bullshit. Whoa! <laughs> so, you have seen... You have seen... What the ice caves look like. <laughs> that is a constant. Every ice case level will be like this. And today we got lucky. We were able to simply... Oh, the way we here. You know, there was a nice corner for me to flee into. But we will not get so lucky. Or, or there's a good chance we won't get so lucky. In the next level. For now though, we can simply... Of course, Kali's going to be pissed every time. So, on top of not getting lucky in the sense of uh, explosions. This is good. This is good. This is a great start. Kali's going to get pissed. And there will be a ball and chain attached to my ankle. Maybe she didn't spawn. That's the only... Yeah, there she goes. And there's a ball and chain for me. Let's go all the way down. Man, I should have just... This could have been the victory, man. This could have easily been the one. See, if we make it to Olmec, I'm going to be pissed. There. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I'm just going to go. Too bad. Too, really too bad. <laughs> Cannot kill myself. But yeah, I definitely want to make it to Olmec. Alright, please. We'll go up here. Now he's gonna be pissed again. No, don't come over! <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully Kali didn't spawn, but it is a very low chance of her not spawning. Seems like I got lucky though. Maybe because it's um Yeti level. No, Yeti levels usually spawn Kali as well. So I just got lucky. Let's just put it that way. Got pretty lucky. Still shopkeepers the stuff? Yeah man, don't question it, just go through. <laughs> See uh the so the impulse is get the hell away from monsters. Be careful about that inevitable ball and chain. I guess it's not inevitable since it's not happening yet. That mammoth. You just got lucky that Kali just didn't spawn. It's amazing. That's incredible! Might as well get this shotgun. Because we are going to the mothership. Probably should harvest as much as I can. It sucks because I really wanted to see hell. Under these circumstances, you know? I can spawn from there and I wasn't able to prevent it from attacking me. It's a plasma cannon. Possibly 100% counterproductive to use a plasma cannon. That. Into the mothership we go, an assured destruction, if I ever saw any. There's no way, right? <laughs> oh boy. Just stay off, stay off. Because... <laughs> the alien ships will not stun you. 
when they are uh, going down. That somehow survived. Incredible. The exit is right above me. Ooh, the shopkeeper. Oh my goodness. <laughs> well, one way to get to the exit, huh? <laughs> Mothership survived. Beautiful stuff. Keep on going. Okay, Kali's here. She's gonna be pissed. Maybe not. Maybe we got lucky. Wow, how lucky is that? That nothing touched Kali's altar. Incredible. That means that I do not have to worry about the permanent ball and chain just yet. I mean, the permanent ghost just yet. Alright. That. The exit is this way. It's pretty hilarious. Let me be honest with you. I expected it to be way more deadly, though. Funny that it wasn't deadly at all. What's happening? Oh, there's nobody there. Not get stunned by a rock. Eight. Health. I really should be uh, more proactive harvesting the blood because the temple is uh, it's a nightmare. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go through. Made it all the way to the temple somehow. Well, the matters is getting the compound at the beginning. Oh man, there's uh, I knew he was right away, huh? I mean, I don't care about the scepter. I was an idiot. I ruined everything. But I expect that uh, about 400 arrow traps. I mean, 400 cross traps per screen. <laughs> Go away. Stupid alien. Blow them all up. Pretty sure that's all triggered, but, you know. It pays to be cautious. Oh, the rock. Don't get rocked. Don't get your world rocked. Come on, stupid. Yeah, that's good enough. It traveled close to... Travel close to the brush trap. Oh, wow. That could have easily been death. Because there's a very high chance of getting tossed into the... Getting tossed into the path of a crush trap. I think one of those totally got them. Yep. Look at that. Level 1 complete. I'm going to be so salty if this could have been a hell run. I need to die somehow. Come on. Come on, destroy me! Destroy me! Oh! Oh! <laughs> I should be careful what I wish for. Okay, let's do that. No, no, there. Uh, yeah, we're just going to bomb our way down. That's really the way to do it. Just use bombs to get through the level. Don't really care about what it spawned, just make make your own path in Splunky in this particular instance. Another crush trap there, another one there. Everything gets blown up. Welp, thank you for killing me. <laughs> I would have been pretty sad if this could have been a hell run. Got stunned. Into a bomb. Did not have the health to sustain it. So that's Sash of Euphoria. It is beatable. I did not realize it's actually beatable. So I might come back in. Spend another hour trying to beat it. Oh, that was such a dumb death too. What a dumb ank loss. Feeling pretty sad about that one. Anyway, hopefully you had a good time. I'll see you in the next one. Until then, keep track of a thousand variables at once.